Honey, what did you do to my man cave? You mean my makeup cave? That's, that's not a thing. It is now. This is Neve, and this is Laura. They just got married nine months after they had their baby Cleo. Oops. Oops. Honestly, they have no idea what they're doing. But whatever, they're in love. And, and we're, we're here, here to help. help. If you plan on getting married someday, statistics say you'll probably live with your future spouse for a while before you actually get married. Yeah, that's not really as scandalous to live together anymore. But living together isn't as easy as it seems. It's a huge step. And you learn so much about your partner when you're sharing the same space. There really is no escape. So we've got a great email. Let's take a look. Okay. This one's from Julie. Julie. My boyfriend suggested we live together. I love him. The thing is though, I don't know if I want to marry him. I want to see where it goes, which is why I think moving in is a good step. I guess my question is, should we move in if I'm not sure I want to get married? Of course. That's a good question, though, because I guess things right. start rolling, and all of a sudden you take the ball and you say, wait, right. no, stop rolling right. the ball. The concern is real, right? You, you're in a relationship, things are going well. For a lot of reasons, it makes sense to move in together, right? One, because you're wasting time commuting back and forth. Two, you can save money on rent. Mm -hmm. Three, it's fun, it's an adventure, it's something to do together. But the bottom line is moving in is not getting married. But if you're ready to move in, you don't have to be ready to be married. Right. There are two different things. Hi, this is Julia. Hi, Neve and Laura. Hey, how Hi. you doing? So I have a question for you guys. Uh, my boyfriend and I started living together a little earlier this year. Um, it was going really great. Um, then I went on my first business trip recently. I left on a Saturday. When I called him on Sunday, I found out that he had a friend stay with us, which is normally no big deal but this friend was a girl, and I wasn't too sure how to feel. How did he spin the situation? Did she have an emergency? He was like, hey, her Airbnb fell through. Um, I think she's just gonna stay at the apartment. I wouldn't worry too much if I were you. I think it's it speaks to his level of trust in your relationship. It sounds like you guys have a good thing going. And I appreciate and relate to your fury, and I think that you should never <laughs> quell that burning flame inside you of anger and, hold, hold it and over jealousy, his head, right? and you should always <laughs> express your feelings. If your boyfriend was trying to have a secret relationship for a week with his childhood friend, he wouldn't have called you and said, hey, my childhood friend in town, can she sleep over? Because whenever you're in a new relationship as a guy, there's always this strange, like, can I still be friends with old either girlfriends or ex-girlfriends or even just, you know, childhood friends? Like, hey, I'm gonna go have drinks with my old... No, you're friend. literally not gonna have drinks with them. But why not? Because why? <laughs> Move on! Okay, here's another email from Shauna who writes, my boyfriend and I just moved in together and I just found out that he watches porn almost every day. He doesn't even masturbate to it usually. He said, it's just like watching any other video online except it's beautiful women having sex. I feel hurt and incredibly insecure since finding out. How can I cope after we've already committed to living together? How does she know he doesn't jerk off? Is she like around the corner watching him watch porn? Did she walk in on him watching it? Was he like, no, baby, I'm watching porn, but I'm just, it's for the, it's for the creativity it's of it. It's almost worse that he doesn't jerk off. Right. My response to this is that there's a lot of people that watch a lot of porn. I don't think it's a ma male, female issue. Fair. I think girls watch lots of porn all the time. Are you, are you talking about friends of yours? Yes, a lot of friends of mine okay. watch porn. I like porn. Yeah. I think it's nice. I think it's fine that he's watching it. I don't think it has anything to do with his attraction to you. I don't think you need to be insecure about it. If you're someone that doesn't watch porn, you shouldn't hold it against someone. Unless he's not having sex with you and your sex life is the or is just boring and he's just watching porn to like get himself off and he's not servicing you. I think that- Servicing. <laughs> That's a terrible word. <laughs> you get down there. If you maybe watch porn with him, and you see what he loves about it, um, maybe he'd end up watching less because he then it wouldn't be his secret and private thing that he would do it alone. He'd think of you when he was doing it, so then he would just have sex with you. Should we start making a porn right Should now? Should we watch a porn? Ooh. Hmm. 